I'm only burning glucose, right? You know, if I'm doing zone two, I'm only burning fat, I'm only oxidizing fat and using mitochondria. And they don't realize there's actually a lot of gray going on. Like you're oh, doing yeah. high intensity interval training types of exercise. You're, yeah, you're, 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 you know, going above the lactate threshold. You're, you're using glucose as fuel, but you're also still using your mitochondria, right? I mean, you're, yeah. you're pushing them hard. <laughs> and there, there, there are many things to say about uh, poor understanding of metabolism. Is, is how I'll say that. There is no way to fully metabolize carbohydrate without oxidation. You just can't, right? Like you can run through, and we, we can do it, and it's probably not the most interesting thing, but you can't get very far anaerobically with even carbohydrate. You have to finish that story aerobically. Does that mean your fuel in the exercise itself is the same as the total net expenditure? No. So in the case of Marty's work and high intensity stuff, yeah, in the actual exercise bout itself, you're going to be well above anaerobic threshold. You're going to be well above an RER of 1.0, right? You're going to get really, really, in fact, we have seen many times 1.3s, 1.4s, right? For RERs or RQs. That's mathematically impossible. 1.0 means 100%. So what you mean is like the, 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 the carbon dioxide expenditure is so exceeding aerobic or oxidative intake that your numbers get like astronomically high. So yes, but that said, those anything you just burn there that's sitting either in lactate or in pyruvate or some other intermediate form there, it's going to be finished in the mitochondria with oxidation.